communication. So this is a video about how people used to use communication and how did they communicate throughout the year. So let's take a look. Exactly, they used many ways, which we don't know and we don't use today. And I'm going to go through some of the really interesting ways they used to communicate with. Like the fire signals. Take a look at this one, for instance. Thumbs to span great distances with great news. And they use light, huge signal fires to penetrate the night and relay from the hilltops the news of victory or defeat. This is how they sent the news of great events. And the communication started to change and people developed it. And they found out some symbols and they start communicating with it. It's interesting. They built written languages, symbols and characters like the hieroglyphs of the ancient Egyptians. On Greek scrolls and on Roman tablets, alphabet systems were recorded by hand. Even pigeons did a big role in that. Many times the deepest secrets of finance and state were given to the swift, trained wings of carrier pigeons. Semaphore. Semaphore is such an interesting communication way. Now look at this. Do you know that they have alphabets for that? Cool. The wars and revolutions that reshaped Europe in the 18th century were signaled across the countryside by the earliest semaphore. And that's how the telephone and TV started. And this is also an interesting part. The telephone wire was strung out now across the horizon, taking its place beside the telegraph, crossing borders and boundary lines. Today, the television screen can carry a two-dimension image of the outside world into our homes as easily as our radios bring us sound. Today, everything is different and it has changed. Internet is part of the change. Let's start with this. We've got several faster and more reliable means of communication. And those types, we can say, we start with the postal office. Now we've got the postal office, people can send messages, which is actually nowadays, specifically, we're not using so much because they used to put stamps and send the post through stamped envelopes and go to the post office. But now we've got it in a different way. Looking at this, these are speed cargoes. People deliver your deliveries and your shipments within days. Telephones are faster and different as well. The fastest mean of communication is the telephone. Just ring and call. It's easy to talk with friends and relatives in the city and in other cities outside the country. Also written messages. People used to use something called fax in old time. But today, with the combination of our smartphone and messages are easier. Mass communication. You've got newspaper, radios, televisions. These all help and communicate a large number of people at the same time. Newspaper gives us detailed news and events taking place around the country or the world. Internet and emails. The internet and email are now popular means of communication. Computers and the internet have made communication so much faster. We can send pictures and messages from one computer to another over the internet. We can get information about the weather, latest happening around the world, and everything. We want to know anything through the internet. And if you look at the smartphones and the e-readers, the smartphone is a combination of computer with a phone. We can use it to make telephone calls and send and receive emails and check our office documents. 
the e-readers can be used for downloading and reading digital books and periodicals. All these latest means of communication have brought the world together.